The mod bats are here. So for this video, we're gonna go over two main things. One, what we've learned from making a real product, and two, how that impacts our review process because it informs us greatly on what's going on. If you're not familiar with the mod mat, and this is the first time you've seen it, the very basics of it is this. It's a four foot by two foot modding surface. You put it out to protect the table or the surface underneath. It is grounded, so we have a common ground point going to a snap on the corner of the mat which terminates in a ring that connects to a ring terminal where you can ground directly to a wall or another ground point like a power supply that you tape on the outside of the power supply, something like that. And then you connect the wrist strap from the common ground point to your wrist, keeps you grounded, uh, which if you're doing something like just messing with a motherboard or a video card when they're assembled, there's not a huge amount of risk for electrostatic discharge. However, once you get into taking the things apart, like you're gonna liquid cool the video card, those exposed to SMDs are a lot more susceptible to any kind of damage. So it's one of those things where working on like a $3,000 Titan V, for example, it's worth taking the extra precaution because not doing it is a $3,000 loss. So that's the whole point. It's to protect the stuff you're working on when you're modding, uh, doing liquid cooling, doing shunt resistor mods, stuff like that, and also look pretty cool. So we have like a cheat sheet on here with electrical wiring where you can see the PCIe 8-pin power headers. So if you're trying to do something like a shunt resistor mod, you're shorting the shunts with liquid metal or something, you can take a uh, resistance measurement of one of the pins on here versus the shunt resistor foot and check uh, which shunt goes to which 8-pin power header on the card. And this would help you figure out which pin is which. Uh, which one's 12 volt, which one's ground, and so forth. We have a jump start guide, so if you're just trying to jump the power supply with a green and a black ground, which we point out for you to make it really easy. And then we have a thermal paste application guide. So again, the whole point is to provide a really nice surface to work on that will protect the table and the components, but also some useful stuff. So we've got like the thread ripper recommendations where we say either just spread it thinly over the entire surface, which is the blue, or if you don't want to do that, because it's kind of a pain with like diamond compound, you do an X with some dots and it'll spread on its own. We've got Ryzen, Coffee Lake, Skylake X, and so forth. With all that basic stuff out of the way, going through some of the case manufacturing, things like that, going through our own, uh, we have to, oh, one second, guys. Thanks, appreciate it. Okay, sorry, I had to deal with some really important business. So just to recap here, I'm gonna go through some of the supply chain stuff, talking about what goes into a product, just because this is stuff I've learned in the last few weeks, so it might be interesting to you. Let's talk about cost. Everything in the process obviously has a cost, and then you also have to deal with time related to that cost. So to get a sample made, that could take a couple weeks to get it here, look it over. If there's anything we wanna change, we have to t communicate with the factory, they make a new sample ship it out, things like that, approve it. That takes time. There's also shipping time alone. So obviously when it comes from the factory and we order a lot of them to sell retail to all of you, we deal with, do we wanna put it on a boat or a plane? And here's something interesting for you. Uh, the boat takes more than 60 days to get it all cleared here at this location so we, so we can ship it out. 60 days is too long. We didn't wanna wait that long and make people who've pre-ordered or back-ordered wait 60 days just because it's done, but we're waiting for it to travel over the ocean. A plane is about 10 to 12. It's way more expensive, obviously, so we eat into some of our own ability to profit, but it's worth it because it goes out to the customer faster. We really wanna just, you know, we wanna get them in, we wanna get them out to people who bought them and make sure everyone's happy with it. So that's something to consider. You talk again about computer cases, those typically come over on a boat because they can weigh up to 50 pounds, way too expensive to put thousands or tens of thousands of them on a plane at that kind of weight and bring them over. So they're typically on a boat. And then you deal with things like, in the past, Cooler Master, Corsair, and DXT have had stock shortages in some cases because of strikes, for example, at the docks. So and then they just, just sit on the water uh, waiting to come into to port. So that's another small thing. Uh, another one. Colors, so colors are really hard to get right. We've worked pretty hard on consistency, talking with the factory, getting the ink colors accurate and exactly how we want them every time. Look back at Noctua, and they had that fan color difference once, which was because run to run, you can have some variance. So we've worked on that. Uh, we learned kind of on that front from Noctua's fan stuff previously. 
Couple other quick and small things, contrast and ink saturation, something we have to consider. Dimensions of when you roll this mat up, when it's rolled at the factory into a tube like this, we have to make sure it's a, a limited diameter so that it'll fit in the tubes that we bought locally to ship them out. Uh, snap quality for the 10 millimeter snap for the ground point. Distribution has a cost. I don't ship them personally. We have a distributor for that. Freight obviously has cost. Pallets, planes, boats, all that stuff. Uh, shipping time, of course, as noted, and then all the other fun things like import duties, taxes, things like that. So, uh, yeah, learned a lot about how much it costs to make a product and what the involvement is to get it done. You have to stay on top of the factory you're working with to make sure the product arrives protected, make sure it's all done right, and it's, it's constant PR and human work just talking to the people making the product to make sure everything comes out how you want it. That's really difficult. So the whole process of this, even though we've made a really cool product, I'm really happy with it, it's been a lot of work, even with that stuff aside, it's informed our future reviews of product samples. So when in the past I've said things like, I really wish this were $15 cheaper. Well, now I understand just how difficult that can be. Now there are times when I would still absolutely demand that something's cheaper. But other than things like that, the, uh, to bring cost down is pretty difficult. And so now that we've gone through this whole process, start to finish, making a real product, not just merchandise, not just a shirt where you, you know, we make pretty cool shirts too, but we give them a design, they print it, and then we ship it. Pretty simple. To make something like this, that's fully custom, the anti-static mat, it's special materials, we have to go to a factory that knows what they're doing, they make stuff for clean rooms, so they really know what they're doing. That's a lot of steps, it's a lot of research. And then for our reviews in the future, now we have this extra perspective that's really valuable because I can look at products from the perspective of not a large manufacturer, but someone who has gone through the manufacturing process, which again, highly valuable for reviewing a product. So let's go through some of these. First of all, for this one I've got here, this is one of the newest samples that just came in. These are going out in the next couple days. If you haven't already ordered one, you should pick it up at store.gamersnexus.net because uh, we've got a couple left and they're going out soon. So the matte material, first of all, you can see now that this background color is the same. So it's just a straight black. It's the raw matte material. As opposed to previously, we had a dark gray background in between all of the detail. And that dark gray paint, although we liked it, we found that improved contrast if we just went with the straight black matte material. So we can look at things like, uh, for example, the pinouts over here really pop now and the blue for the logo pops. Part of this is because we've changed the backgrounds, the contrast has improved. We've also talked to the factory to make sure they improve basically the saturation of the paint, make sure there's enough paint to really make things bright. Also the millimeter lines on the ruler. So over here, millimeter lines now uh, really pop out and they're easier to see as well. So lots of small improvements that we've worked on for this run. I'll point out this as well, the actual ground point to the snap it's called. This is a, uh, a 10 millimeter snap. The ground point is something that the factory punches in and then they cap it on the back. So this is smoothed over. It's not gonna like dig into the surface or anything. And it also just kind of looks nice. Uh, it fits really snugly. You pop the ground point on there, everything works well. And that's all stuff that we've worked on for the first production run and now the follow-up runs. And then we go back to the boxes I knocked over at the beginning of the video. Uh, even just getting the tubes, it's another moving part. So as I said earlier, learning through the whole process, going through manufacturing a product, you realize one, everything costs money. So I have to buy the mat. I have to pay for the ink to go on the mat. We've got to get the tubes to put them in. We have to get the manuals made. We have to get the ground points, the anti-static wrist straps all of these different things. There's distribution, there's shipping uh, coming from the factory, going out to the customer. And obviously that goes through a distributor. Um, and I'm just operating here in a garage right now. So it's something that we're taking really seriously. We're not making a ton of money on it, but the whole point is that it's a damn cool product that I'm actually pretty proud of. And uh, as a completely side unexpected bonus, Again, learning more about what the manufacturers go through. So now when I'm criticizing their products and I'm asking that they drop the price a couple bucks, I've got that extra point to consider where, well, now I know what they go through. Can they actually do that? But 
Uh, we've learned a lot from it. Very happy with it. So as stated, pick one up if you want to. And uh, otherwise, check back soon. Subscribe for more. You can go to store.gamersnexus.net to find the mod mat or our other shirts and our two-tone hoodies. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.